Hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> Y'all know what time it is, man. Free agent mm-hmm. frenzy done started, man. It's been a lot of moves early on. Yeah, and uh, we got to come in and talk talk about this, man, because I was looking backstage. I see a lot of people pissed already. That ain't good. Uh, So when you see people pissed at these Falcon fans, uh, we got to find a way to calm y'all down because yeah, man, we got to figure it out. We're gonna do it for the logo, man. So let's keep it real. But Kirk Cousins signs a four year deal with the Atlanta Falcons, and mm-hmm. uh, it's not a surprise because we need a quarterback. You look at the part quarterback play last year, you know, <laughs> wasn't good at all. You had a 38 year old quarterback come off the streets, off the couch. And throw more yeah. touchdown pass than both of our quarterbacks combined. But before I get into it, man, let my boy Chris say what's up, man, before we get this thing rolling. And I see the chat hey. on file already, man. What's going on, on, everybody? We yeah, man. Have a minute. Let's hey, go. what's going on, everybody? What's good? What's good? Hey, this is a safe space for all Falcon fans, man. You already know. Whatever your opinion is, is your opinion. But yes, Kirk Cousins is now the um the Atlanta Falcons quarterback. And we welcome him to Atlanta, man. You know, let's go ahead and get off the snide. Let's go ahead and get ready for these playoffs. Let's go ahead and get a good mindset going for the going into the season. You know, he's our quarterback. We haven't had one since Matt Ryan. You know that Kirk Cousins to the Falcons. That's that's a good thing, you know, as far as the Falcon franchise and we haven't franchise quarterbacks we've had. So adding him to the Falcons, you know, is a good thing, man. You know, we, I still want to see what these numbers are. I'm still looking for these numbers. Four years, what? Four years, what? Yeah, four years, yeah. $180 million, dollars, 50 million guaranteed. 50 million a year. Four. Hey, what did I just say to y'all million. yesterday? What did I just say to y'all yesterday? I, I did million. say I said it's gonna be fifty mil a year. After I seen Man, that I'm with a, Baker, no, no, no. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you, on. they got into it. They had to get into a bidding war. They had to because the starting price was probably around forty. So it probably went from forty to forty-five up to fifty. So, Berto, go ahead, man. My bad. Now nah, you're good, man. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, good. good. Yeah, so he's getting forty-five million a year, and it includes right. a fifty million uh, signing bonus. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, yep, he gets a hundred million guaranteed, ninety million in twenty twenty-four and twenty twenty-five, mm-hmm. plus another ten million in twenty twenty-six, and it's a fresh start for Kirk Cousins in Atlanta. Atlanta. Money should still allow us to be, you know, pretty. You know, still still be a little a little loose in free agency, probably bring some other key players in. I know that they're tied to a, another edge rusher, which which is name they haven't revealed yet. But Kirk Cousins to Atlanta, man. Man, we talked about it candidly yesterday uh, as a possibility. It Indeed. just makes it makes a lot of sense. Uh as Smitty and Ice and Chris has even stated in the past, man, this should not deter Atlanta's plans from getting their true guy in the draft, whether that no, be trading no, no. up to go and get somebody or do something that's very unpopular within Atlanta's fan base, which is trading back and acquiring more picks. And hell, who knows? They could go and get a Michael Penix. Let him sit down, take a page from what Green Bay did uh, with Jordan Love and Aaron Rodgers situations and let the guy season up a little bit and then throw him out there. You know, there's, there's many ways that Atlanta could go, uh, even though they, they just signed Kirk Cousins to this massive deal. Uh, I'm excited for it, man. Let's go. Uh, I'm, you know, it's all about the logo, man. So it, it's he's all here. About the logo. He's Facts. there, man. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to deal with it, and we're going to rock with it. And they could still go plenty of ways in this draft, go get a quarterback. Uh, but I'm going to tell y'all, and I said it before, and I'm sticking hey. to it. Uh, my boy John Freaky just texted me, says Malik Neighbors has to be in the conversation right now, and I totally agree with that. And I like I said, man, Marvin Harrison has to be a consideration. Go on the board and get that generation of talent. And we can use generational with that guy because that guy, when he gets to the next level, he's going to be unstoppable. I'm talking about Julio Jones meets with Megatron. That's the Ooh. type of talent he has. So, Julio um, and Megatron. 
you got to think about it, and especially, especially if at number four, if he falls down to the Arizona Cardinals, you got to get him them two first round picks. They're gonna take it. Cause guess what? They will move down back up the board and they can take Malik neighbors. So it's gonna be consideration for these guys. And I'm thinking with the Giants at number five, I'm sorry, at number six, you're looking at JJ McCarthy right there. So one of these wide receivers, well, not Marvin Harrison, but Malik Neighbors um, or Rome Meduse is going to drop. I was to say, but you got to consider Rome Meduse now. Right. Don't just sleep on that guy. You can actually still possibly trade back a little bit and get him. That's where I'm nah, looking at. I'm looking at. He's not possibly. making that top 10. Yeah. I'm sorry. You don't think you think he going you no, think somebody's going to no, get him because, in the top 10? Oh yeah, no, because Caleb Williams goes number 1, the Bears had a number 9 pick. Still right. need another weapon. So I think that's my league neighbors right there. Yeah, you got DJ Moore so it's not going to uh it's not going to matter. Uh Carl Johnson, I appreciate that. I would love to be a general manager, man. <laughs> 4 years. Yeah. 4 years, 80 million dollars. Yep. Uh, 80. Hey, so what, now what about um, go ahead. My bad, my bad. Uh, I'm okay. sorry. No, no, you know, my, my, my time, my time's a little bit limited, but um, it, right, right, you know, just, just just food for thought, though. You know, Kurt's coming off, of course, you know, the injury, and that seems to be the concern within the fan base and and, and amongst us as well, because we talk about it. There's no hiding that injury. Uh, sure, right. you know, this this talent of wide receiver is very deep. You know, a legate from South Carolina could make sense at the top of the second round. Uh, so yep. investing a, a, along the offensive line could be a priority now more than ever for the Falcons as well. Mm, we've talked eight. about how, yeah, yeah um, um, we've talked about Jake Matthews and, you know, he has a hefty contract, but he's also declining. One way to help with this Kirk Cousins situation and the numbers that are on the books now is starting to get rid of some of these heavier contracts that are uh, that are on the Falcons salary now or on the books for right now. So, you know, if the Falcons do stay pat at eight, depending on what pass rusher they do acquire in free agency, could allow them to take in jo a Joe Alt or um, or the kid out of Penn State. If they trade up to take one of those guys, I will not be upset at that because you obviously got to protect your investment. And with Jake Matthews and Caleb McGarry on shaky wheels, uh, you know, the last couple years or the last two years, you got to fortify one, one of those spots up to, you know, to lessen Facts. the blow that, that could potentially Facts. happen. Facts. Right. And I've said that too. Um, mm -hmm. If Jake Matthews stays because of that contract, flip him over to the right side, bring in a Joe Alt, or either bring yeah. Ricky in, put him right. on the right, right side until it's time to come to the left side. Uh, Bergeron, who's also a, a multiple positional player, yep. can play yep. guard and tackle. So mm -hmm. it's plenty of ways guys to out there in the draft. Right? Yeah, so these guys out there in free. Yeah. And you look at what they're going to do on the Zach Taylor, you have to have somebody to protect that blind side because mm -hmm. the, the West Coast style offense that they're going to run, you're going to have to have time in the pocket. And this is one reason why, and I know y'all hate to hit it, this is one reason why Justin Fields kind of fell off at the wayside at the end because yep. um, you talk about having to pass the ball out of the pocket, he hadn't been pretty good at that his first three years. So that right there is told. probably they a reason why. Told. Yeah, wasn't so. Uh, Brandon Williams said Tyron Smith as a one-year rental. It depends on I the price. I would love that. If yeah. you can mm -hmm. get Tyron Smith at a nice price, I would definitely go for that. Uh, I mean, because you're going to need I'm somebody to protect them. You're going to need right. somebody to protect Kirk Cousins, man. And another yeah. thing you guys got to just consider, too, is what does this mean for Daniil Hunter? And also, what does this mean for Justin Jefferson? Mm -hmm. well, Justin Jefferson, Jefferson, he's about to get a bag. Move. He's about to get a bag yeah. because my, they're not tying he, up. He definitely, oh, he's definitely about to get a bag. He's definitely yeah. about to get a bag. Yeah. But he they're also wanted to play with Kurt team. as well. Yeah. He's also yeah. on record saying that. So it's yeah, just exactly. a Mark throw it out there. Mark throw it out there. Go get Odell. What y'all think about that? Odell, if oh, it's this the money for me with Odell. I yeah. I think the ability is still there, but it's the money. I'm not giving him what the Ravens gave him last year. No. And that's what, 17 million? Yeah, I'm not even getting, not even close with me. Yeah, that's way too much. Not, uh, not I've close. heard that rumor too, um, guy are done that Hunter is in Atlanta. Hey, so man. we could be getting a, Let's we do could it. Get a double dip. Let's, hey, so, man, uh, I wouldn't mind stealing all them players from, from them guys if they want to, you know what I'm saying, play ball with us on the money in the cap situation. Man, I'd go get all three right. of them guys again, for real. What's up, Maybach Sports? Uh, yeah, man, y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Please go to A1 Forever, hit the subscribe button, 95 North Falcons Talk Show. 
uh check us all out man we all putting in work and uh we just having Indeed. fun with this thing man uh but i'm really not down because i'm gonna keep it real with y'all like i always do i'm gonna keep it funky um when we talk about fit fit kirk cousins fit everything that atlanta Ooh. is going forward to do you look at the championship coach and Raheem Morris, who needs a veteran quarterback, you saw him pull it. You saw the Rams pull it off uh, in one year by adding a lot of stars and a lot of role players at the right position, and it brought them a Super Bowl title. So maybe the Falcons are going to try to take that uh, route, add more talent, because like I said, if you bring in a Daniel Hunter and you can find a way to squeeze that contract in, oh boy, man, yeah. <laughs> that's a you whole new ball game. Bad yeah, you finally had your pass rush. That would be a and beautiful. And then you're thing. looking at the draft, like Alberto said, you go offensive line to help out Jake Matthews, or you go edge rushers like a Dallas Turner or a Jared Verse, and you bring Jonathan, in more talent. Right. So I mean, it's plenty of ways it can go. But what do y'all think so they go next as far as the draft? As far as the draft, yeah. oh man, uh, I think they may stay put at eight. Honestly, I mean, I I like the idea of moving up to go get Marvin, though I do. But I think they may stay put at eight um, and just see where they can go from there. I would like them to actually trade back at this point now. I want them to trade back and get more picks so we can get more players to surround around our new quarterback because he's going to need protection. He's going to need extra weapons. We need receivers and all that stuff like that. We uh, He has to be protected. I, it, bringing him in, I definitely want to move Jake to the right side. I don't. I don't trust, you know what I'm saying, the whole connection and, and the whole um, the whole thing with Jake and possibly Kirk Cousins over there. But a good thing is we've seen quarterbacks make moves to different teams that were, you know, a piece or two away and take them to the Super Bowl. We've seen that multiple times. Now, guys, we got to we gotta will this thing. We got to believe that this is our time now for this to happen for us. Now, we're, does Kirk Cousins automatically mean Super Bowl? Heck no, it doesn't. Heck no, it does not. You got to put some more pieces around this, and that's going to be in the draft now, you know what I'm saying, mostly. A couple other pieces can come in, yes, but it's definitely the draft. You got to smash this draft. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you guys say, man, but now, I mean, with, with, with just the details revealed as far as the contract financials, man, you have to protect your investment. Now you're asking this Falcons offensive line to hold that pass protection, maybe a second or two more than what they're accustomed to because they've had such so much mobility on the, in the pocket at quarterback. You know, um, Kirk Cousins is not a mobile quarterback. He's that sneaky athletic mm -hmm. term that that a lot of folks throw around so going offensive line i think has to be the sounding of the alarm and within the falcons hallways man how do we protect our investment our 100 million 180 million dollar investment why not put the best oh, offensive yeah, line in front of him so i i think that if if all is all is well and we stay at eight sure it'll allow us to go bpa and if one of those offensive linemen i'm going to stick to it now more than ever you gotta go ahead and draft that that individual, whomever's whomever's available. If it's uh Olusanu or if it's Joe Alt. They are saying uh that you hunter to the 49ers on two year deal. Are you kidding me? The 49ers. Wow. You know what? I can see what that it, though. The 49ers are gonna be stacked, but you know they lose yeah. they lost Eric Armstead because they cut him. Yeah. Um yeah. You got Chase Young as a free yeah. agent, so it makes sense. Javon Kinlaw is a free agent, so it makes sense. Uh, it right. just really just Gil Bosa, another running partner. And to That's me, it. it's a real smart move. And the Falcons got to start making all kinds of smart moves, man. You yeah. see a guy there. Seriously. Come on just now. Go for it. Um, Mark says the Eagles got Saquon Barkley. That's an excellent I, I've seen that coming because they wouldn't bring his Swift back. And, and, and shout out to Swift because he got a good deal going to uh, Chicago. To Chicago, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. it's still mm -hmm. free agents to be had out here, man. And we, to be honest, don't know which way to go. But uh, I think I'm going to open up the chat for a minute so I can let y'all let off some steam right quick. Yeah, um, man. Let them come in and talk, uh, man. That 180 million, it just ain't going to ride for some of y'all. I see. Uh, oh, but we're gonna have to convince y'all 100 mil and, guaranteed, uh, you know. But it's you know, it's stretched yeah, out. We already knew that we, this was gonna be like hey, this. If Justin yeah. Fields was the quarterback, it was gonna be some people like, man, we wouldn't got Fields. So, you know, regardless, it's gonna be some people that are on the fence, regardless, y'all. 
So. Yeah, Epinesa, that's another one I would look at as a rotational piece. You got uh, Josh yeah. Uche out there. You, Bryce Huff went to the yeah. Eagles. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Huff to the Eagles. Just, Gennard hey. went to the – Gennard, he got picked up too. So, I'm like, he by the Vikings. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, okay. And they say the Vikings yeah, are going to go out to Sam Donald now. And y'all got to understand that uh, they're going to be cuts made. We don't know who, mm-hmm. um, but you got to make cuts. So – Right. We still got a long way to go in this thing, so just don't give up too fast. But trust me, yeah. they're gonna find a way. Yeah. But the link is in the chat. Y'all still a lot of players to come there, in. Y'all. And still please, please players. keep it respectful, man. Please keep it respectful. Uh, we're gonna have to boot y'all out of here, like with that, with that. Like yesterday, <laughs> yeah, like yesterday. <laughs> we ain't playing that. Oh yeah. man, the woman don't play that. Free agent, a lot of quality free agents left, especially on the. Uh, on the edge. Zadarius Brown is still right. a very, uh, you know, effective pass rusher still in this league. Of course, the, the ever so popular one with Leonard Floyd over from the Bills, that's mm-hmm. that's another possibility. I'll be okay walking out of free agency with just those three names and then just, you know, go ahead and, and run the mill with, with, with it in free agency. So there's, a, there's, still, there's still things to do, man. And I think the Falcons... They're not. They're not a dumb organization. They're not. They're not doing dumb. And some folks might say, "Oh, this is the this was a dumb signing." Yeah, no, it wasn't because there's there really wasn't another you know caliber style Which, quarterback that fits the mold of what the Falcons brass wanted. So, and then right, our options, is. y'all. Then our options too, y'all. You gotta think about that too. Um, if we wasn't, if we was already out on Justin Fields. If we didn't lock down Kirk Cousins, we would only had a rookie quarterback option and Justin Fields left. So from the right. Falcons brass, they looking at it from options. They didn't want to have to be stuck. They didn't want to have to go into free agency and the draft possibly not still quarterbackless. So if this was right. I understand the move. They they really wanted to go ahead and lock in that quarterback. Uh, was it my first choice? We already know it wasn't, but He's here now. He's here now, and it's Super Bowl of bus now. It's Super Bowl yeah. of bus. We got to yeah, put it got to be around. Them. We got to put the pieces around them, y'all. Hey, Super Bowl. Uh, C Duck, welcome to the uh, cast, right quick, man. Trouble. What you think about Kurt no Cousins? Trouble. Yeah, you got that right. It's trouble, um, <laughs> Berto, because you know we talk. No uh, yeah, I ain't happy. Uh, let's look, guys. I, let's first say what needs to be said. Arthur Blank, you got Matt Ryan back. I mean, Kirk Cousins, uh, because this is Matt Ryan 2.0. That's all. He misses him. He gave him the money. I mean, he wouldn't give the money to some other guys, but we're not going to talk about that. Here's the thing. I expect double-digit wins. And if we get close to seven, God, God forbid, lower, then somebody's going to lose a job as well as more stuff because y'all look like, I mean, I can't get over this. You signed a guy who suffered an Achilles, a major injury in the Achilles. Now let's talk about the playoff record. It's boo-boo. And we can talk about, yeah, well, he didn't have to be, he still played the games. So we're really going to say this guy could get us in the playoffs. Well, he has to now. And I hope he can handle that pressure because that pressure is going to be 10 times more because, guys, you know this as well as everybody. Atlanta, they're going to stop. A lot of people are already saying Matt Ryan Jr. <laughs> well, I, did, I did the Spider-Man meme. Matt to talk to Kirk going, wow, you look just like me. That's what's going to happen because, and then not just that, but if he does not perform, whoo, don't worry about finishing the story, finishing packing because you're going to lose some jobs. Um, <laughs> and and make it work. you you got a guy now who can play quarterback, so go ahead, draft a defensive pass rusher, please. Don't go stupid and try to get the top receiver when – I think Smitty, you've been posting about how how this um, the draft class is so deep, and it is. You could get a guy in the second because we're not going to trade the second now. I mean, unless we're trying to move up in the draft, like back in the first. So, yeah. just try to get your 
get the pass rusher first, get that settled, then you could get received. Heck, what didn't Puka Nakua? Wasn't he a six round draft pick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, guys can be you know when I think of receivers, I don't think of spending top capital to go get them. I like to go look. You find the diamonds in the rough. That's where Jerry Rice came from. You know, yeah. you know those are the hungry guys. You know, like I know, um, what was it? Berto kept talking about uh, Corley from Western Kentucky. So, like I said, guys, I mean, am I like, I love that you said come in and react because reacting wise, I am aggravated. Yeah, I'm aggravated because I just feel like, you know, this guy has more holes in his, or not the holes as throwing the ball. It's just, he's old. He's about to be 36. We we told Matt Ryan to go to play in Indianapolis at 35. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. how I see it. It's like you you know, there's a whole lot of everyone moving goalposts now. It, it's like if Matt didn't have a major injury, we should have just kept Matt. <laughs> I hate to say it, but uh, yeah, we understood it was time for Matt to go. But what I'm saying is, it's just funny. Arthur Blank did not want to lose his Matt Ryan. Well, he's got a new one. Uh, now my question is, is yeah okay no, go ahead go ahead go no, no, you have my, yeah well my, my only fear is this and i want to ask you guys i think you should go get a pass rusher you've been neglecting that area right but right. do you think there's a possibility of them doing what smitty keeps talking about oh, just go name. full no. throttle trade up and go get harrison i mean the name is great would, but man i would really like to not do that I mean, yeah, but I you got like to think, you, you got to think too. Um, we only scored 18, 19 points a game last year. To survive in this league, you got to put up points. You got to oh, yeah, I agree. Receiver. And uh, I don't see that in Drake London. Not saying that Drake London can't play, but right. we're talking about a playmaker at the wide receiver position is what they need. We haven't. Do you see Drake London as a Julio Jones or as a Roddy White? I don't. Oh, wow. So, in that aspect, I got to go up the board and get a Marvin Harris or a Malik Neighbors, somebody that can, that's a game breaker, that can break it with just one one catch and take off. You got to have right. that dude. No, and I'm with like you. you. said, this draft is deep at receiver, but mm-hmm. with Isaiah, with Xavier Worthy running that 4 2 1 to come by, his stock goes through the roof. So he Ooh, probably did it back into the first round. So it is a lot of be, talent in this draft, but you got to have a playmaker and a number one receiver. If you're going out to get a quarterback, and like Murdo said, you got to look at left tackle as well because Jake Matthews, long in the tooth, does not look like him himself no more. Uh, Caleb McGeary, he can't block a cold from coming up. <laughs> uh, so you know that. There's just so many ways that they can go at number eight. And like I said, and like uh, A1 said, you can think about trading back and still going to get talent. So it's just. I'm all for that. Play. Yeah, I'm all for yeah, that. I'm at with it. Trade, yeah. but uh, Mark, I mean, but Mark, they, I don't mind them staying at eight too because yeah, I mean, even yeah. if they don't go get Marvin, bro, you can get Malik, you can go get Rome, and I'm promising you, you still gonna have those same playmakers. Are they Marvin? No, he's the number one. But I'm telling you, man, you got like one one B and one C in Rome or uh neighbors if you want to go the wide receiver route. But I, yeah. I must say another thing too. I'm going to say another thing, too, just to see Double's point about the whole Matt Ryan thing. Now, Matt Ryan was regressing when at, at yeah. this age, and, there's, and we're banking on – we're banking on – I want to say it one more time. We're banking on <laughs> Kirk Cousins to still be – you know what I'm saying? Um, to still be having – be the Kirk Cousins of old. To still be the Kirk Cousins uh. – the 18 and 5 Kirk Cousins. That's what we're believing in. Yeah, no, I, I got you. This. I tell you this, though, C double. Yeah, he is not that same person. And if he, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> you feel me? I, I have all the faith in Kurt. Let me put that out there too. But I'm yeah, just yeah, speaking to your points. If Kurt Cousins does not come in and be the 18 and five Kurt Cousins, if he is. 13 and 13 Kirk Cousins or something like that. Ooh, yep, yep. Heads are going to roll. I don't care. Heads I, are going to roll. Yeah. 
especially with the ta- well and here's the thing and I, I don't want to be like the bad guy because I feel, you know, I know when I've been talking, I have come off that way about Kurt. But the thing is this, I've watched the quarterback series. And, you know, when you watch it, you do feel for Mahomes and Cousins. And you go, man, these guys put a lot of work, which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm just saying is what I'm seeing on the, I just, I just see the same thing I've always seen. Kurt just gets so tight booty when it gets to the playoffs. Now, if he could get us in there, look, you know, look, TBS is on 24 seven and you know, when it's on, on Monday night football, it gets tight. Cause that tight booty, it don't happen. It happens just to him. <laughs> Those get a little tighter. The tight end gets, that's the drop it down a little lower. Uh, Kyle Pitts, you're giving up your number. It looks like, cause I'm going to tell you, you know, people go, well, Kyle doesn't have to. He's a, he's a star. No, he ain't. <laughs> he needs to make it work. Kyle Pitt's going to be 88 or 84 or something like that now. <laughs> something like that. It might help him. It might help him because what, what was it? 21, 2021, he had one touchdown. 2022, two touchdowns. 2023, three touchdowns. Well, let's just put it this way. Let's go for the over, please, because I would hate to see four touchdowns after this year. <laughs> Mm, yeah, true indeed. Woo. But yeah, guys, thanks yeah. for letting me on. I just had to vent a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. No oh, doubt, man. my brother. Good, man. Like, safe space, y'all. Safe space. We're going to try <laughs> That's to why I love you guys. No hey, doubt, Smitty. Appreciate you, my dude. Hey, hey, Smitty, thank you. And also, congrats on that 10K. I've been loving watching the stuff you guys have been putting out there. I may not be able to make the lies all the time, but I do watch and I do appreciate y'all. Hey, appreciate you, my brother. All right. All right, right, man. I'm out. I'm out, guys. I love y'all. Bye. All right. No doubt. Sure. Much love. Oh, I know you got something to say, man, because you've been in the chat going wild for a minute. Mark, you there? Did we lose Mark? Dang, we uh, lost him. Oh, man. Go out. You there? Yeah. I hear something. Well, I hear something trying to come through, man. We may have to... Uh... Go uh, back out and try to uh, come back in. Bad sign. Who am I speaking to? I see a blank screen. Right. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Who else in the back, right man? Let's bring my boy Run in right quick. What it do? All right, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you feeling? <sighs> oh, you let, let it out, man. I, I'm more pissed off about the money. Mm. Coach Cousins, to me, decent. And I don't want to be decent no more. I feel that, <laughs> brother. Matt Ryan was, was shitty booty ass. Now we got another shitty booty ass motherfucker on the team. I don't want to be that. Yeah, I feel you. Bro. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you, man. But uh, but but run. You got to understand. Um, and I just keep telling y'all, man. You got to think about a win now, team. And right. there's no knock to Justin Fields, but has Justin Fields showed y'all that he could lead a team and carry a team? Not yet. He has. Uh, so. If we revisit this in two years when he's still in his 20s, uh, Justin Fields could possibly be here then. So, uh, I mean, it's just a win-now thing. And I know the four years is uh, frustrating, $180 million. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But at the mm. going rate of quarterbacks these days, that's the, that's the going rate for a starting quarterback. Even and when you got $40 million. So, And when you look at it, it's really it. like – yeah, and when you look at it, it's really like two years, $90 million. Really, when right. you, when you I'm because I'm looking at how the structure of the contract is, and yeah, it's four years, one eighty. It's like a hundred mil guaranteed, but it's really two years and ninety mil when you kind of break it down. It. Yeah, yeah, they got the fifty million signing bonus though. Yeah, so it breaks something off the top. So yeah. the fifty million that's I mean, in the signing bonus that's going to take out roughly about twelve and a half a year on whatever. You know, he's right. going to be making. So, 
you take that out of 45, that's about uh, 32 and a half. So that's cheap for a quarterback. Let me ask y'all this. The other day you said something, Smitty. You said this a business, right? Right. Okay, do Coach Cousins put butts in seats? Heck no, he not. I'm sorry. Okay. He, he so, the, the name the name just doesn't appeal with the Thank Falcons. you. Thank you. Now you, yeah. you see where but, I'm but, coming but, from. but I get that. But at the end of the day, it's about winning games. And That's to win right. football games, you got to have a, a a polished quarterback. And Kirk Cousin was the only one out there on the market that was really a polished quarterback. Now you Indeed. could. Now don't get me wrong. People don't. They may not like this, but you have guys out there like Jameis Winston, who was a former starter, uh, Jacob Brissett, Carson Wentz, and guys like that. But you trying to rise above that. So Kirk Cousin only makes sense in that aspect as well. I mean, out of those guys, wouldn't you take Kirk Cousin over either one of those guys? I he was the best. I'd rather take, to me, I'd rather take Justin and Fields. And I understand why. I really do. Because he, he has the most upside. You know what I'm saying? Kirk yeah. Cousin doesn't have the most upside. He's just right. the best quarterback right now for a win now team. You know, it's just too right. many question marks around Justin, too many inconsistencies around Justin. It's teams in there, it, as it was said around the combine, teams believe in Justin. It's just that price is too high. Nobody wants to give a second, a third, or a fourth for Justin Fields. But can you yeah, promise you, you, us? Can y'all promise please. us we will win 12 games this year? I, Brother, I can't promise you nothing because I still got to see what the rest of the team going to look like. <laughs> right. right. We okay. still got a long way to go. And uh, so, just think, free agents still out there, man. And we were, I was looking at the edge rushing class um, of free agents, and you still got a handful out there that can come in right now, pick this defense up, and keep it moving. So uh, you got to think, Grady Jarrett comes back this year. Still have A.J. Terrell on the defense. Um Troy Anderson comes back. Kate Ellis and Nate Lemon had great years. Clark Phillips had a pretty good year as a rookie. So, um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's still a lot of talent on this team, and that is exactly uh, what they're looking at, how much talent they have already. Oh, they have enough talent already. All they do is need to add a couple of pieces. Kirk Cousins is part of that equation. There's just no way around that. And when the owner says um, he wants Kirk Cousins, really ain't nothing nobody can do. Because if that's his guy, that's his guy. There's no way around it. That's that. That's it, y'all. Only thing we can do is go support it. Hopefully, it's a winning product on the field. Hopefully, we end this playoff drought. That's all we can really like bank on, y'all. It's it's still about the logo. You did still about Thanks. you know trying to get to the playoffs. And right now, our Falcon brass felt like felt like Kirk Cousins give us that possible chance to make it to the playoffs. And then you know you get to the playoffs, anything can happen. All bets are off. We'll see what happens when we get there. But first things first, we do have to get there. And it still is technically Super Bowl or bust because this is a win now move. Facts. So huh. I just, Young I just hope what's up, man? Everybody's going to be talk good. to me right quick. How you feeling? It was good. 10K Smitty, A1 Smooths and Flies. I see both of y'all. Hey, hey, look, I'm going to just say it like this. <laughs> If the fans thought last year we had a Super Bowl contending or a playoff caliber defense, then you should love this signing. Let's let's go back to 2021 when Tampa Bay got rid of their turnover prone quarterback and sent him to New Orleans and they brought in Tom Brady. This is a similar power move right here. So right. that's one way to look at it on the positive side. Now, me, I'm like Tip. I wanted a young guy. I was like, yo, F them picks. Go up and get your guy. Go up and get Jaden Daniels. That's the yeah. – that's the, <laughs> That's that's the that's the drum I've been banging on all season long. But since since Kirk O'Chains is here, I'm gonna roll with him. Um, I, I I'm just like you all. I still gotta see who else y'all gonna surround this young uh, surround Kirk Cousins with because I, I, there's no you need a whole new wide receiver core. It's literally just Drake London at this point and who so and Kadir yeah. Hard and, that's and, it. Kade, and if that because I think Josh Ali, right. oh yeah, yeah Josh Ali yeah y'all about to say Kadir Hard. Shout out to the HBCU grad out there, yeah. <laughs> but 
And also um, on defense, we got to bring Calais back. We need an athletic linebacker. I've been banging on the table for Isaiah Simmons for the longest as well. Bring back a Deion Jones-like linebacker that can actually cover somebody. And, of course, replace Richie Grant, Jordan Fuller, where you at? Um, Justin Simmons, where you at? You know, and, and, C- and lock down CB2, and I think we'll be in good place. We already, as it stands right now, we already have the best quarterback in the division. So let's get it. Um, I'm going to keep it positive on here. That I have my apprehension about the signing, but – for now, hey, we got the best quarterback in the division, so let's let's make some noise. Let's get it popping this year. Yeah, I will say of, this, you though. have to look at it as a positive in this aspect too. Look at right. what the hell we right. got on the roster right now, and Desmond <laughs> Ritter and and Taylor Heineke. Right. So you mean Tim, you mad about Kirk Cousin, but you're not mad about what they had? Just make mm-hmm. that make sense. Look what we had, y'all. We had if, if we, we had, had Kirk Cousins last year, if we had Kirk Cousins last year. But if he didn't get hurt and we had him last year, we easily a playoff team. Bro, Let's I'm going to I'm a, bro, I'm a take it one step further than that. If we had Kirk Cousins last year and he did get hurt, we still would have went to the playoffs because we would have won more games in the beginning. Facts. Facts. Like that four-game skid where we lost to all those easy teams like the Titans, the, the Cardinals, the Vikings. Like that doesn't happen if we, have a, if we have a Kirk Cousins. The, um, the, the commanders lost. That doesn't happen if we have somebody like like <laughs> like Kirk Cousins, but yeah, I yeah, know that, that's, that's all I got. I ain't. Chances would have been better. Chances would have definitely been better. Shaka, what's up, man? Talk to me. What's been, up, a minute. It's been a minute. Been a minute. Been a minute. Hey, man. Good to see y'all, boys. Man, good to get up here and chop it up with you, man. Um, as far as uh, Kirk, man, I'm. I wasn't with it, but I'm going to get behind it. You know what I mean? Because he that's my right. quarterback. Like old boy T.O. said, that's my quarterback, man. <laughs> my quarterback, <laughs> you know what man. I mean? Only thing I'm worried about, man, is, you know, for one, his age and that Achilles, man. And I'm worried that I don't know if he's going to be there at the start of the season. You know what I mean? Because he, he injured it in, what, like week eight? So I don't yeah. know if he's going to yeah. make it for the, uh, for the start of the season. You know what I mean? So – that's uh one of my only worries about that, but um I didn't. I Justin Fields, people keep saying he'll put butts in seats, man. But truthfully, man, the only thing that put butts in seats is winning, bro. You know what That's I mean? Good, good when we was when even when we had Matt Ryan, we had butts in seats when we were winning. When we were going oh, to the playoffs crap. every year. That dome was packed out, man. Before we moved over to the bins, you know, because I was there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, winning, winning kills all. Put butts in seats, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I mean, uh, you can get an athletic quarterback, an exciting quarterback. He'll put he'll fill it up for the first couple of games. Though, if they start but, losing, but, that place but here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that, Shaka. Um, and I and I get Justin Fields. I get it. He's young, 25 years old. Right. He's right. young like the rest of the core. But the upside the weapon that we have. Do you trust Justin Fields to go through the right progression? Do you trust Justin Fields I uh, don't. to do the check downs? Do I don't. you trust I Justin to Fields uh, to come through in the clutch in the third and fourth quarter? Man, watch Justin Fields on when tape, you, man. That, you got to have it. That ball too long, bro. He just right. rolling exactly. the ball, man. And exactly. Then, he know he's athletic. He know he can get out of that pocket. And I just feel like he's just right. sitting there holding that ball. But that boy Kirk going to cut it loose because he know he can't move. You know what I mean? So Right. I mean, facts. I mean, he. I mean, the thing about it was he never was a mobile quarterback beforehand. He's definitely going to be in the pocket now. And, I mean, yeah. I do want to see more videos. i seen, like, one video of him, you know, dropping back, you know, for some passes. I'm not worried about his arm strength or none of that like that. I'm worried about him having his legs under him to be able to deliver the ball with the such velocity and the such authority that I needed to get to the uh, receivers and everything, too. That's why I said back – to see doubles point, I feel what people are feeling. I understand it because if we don't get that same um, productive Kirk Cousins, we all going to be very, very oh, upset. Man, right We're going to be very, very upset hey, if he's out there looking like Ryan Kenny Kelly time. Matt Ryan, dog. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. You got to take think the he chance, will. though. You, you got to if you don't take yeah, that yeah, Exactly. I, said, I don't hey, think man. he will, but we talking hypotheticals and this is a safe space. I'm, I'm just Throwing out certain things that people may be thinking, bro. You know? After Raheem seen what happened to Arthur Smith, after getting those low budget quarterbacks, man, no way he's gonna bring a kid in here, man. And they won by three, four games a year, man. 
No, I'm not right. the blink. Exactly. Like, I'm not doing. You That's know what I mean? Exactly. You gotta, and we, he, he and, told him, you got to get a proven yeah. quarterback, man. But gotcha. and Shaka, y'all got to remember, we still got a guy who this is his first time running the show, and Zach yeah. Robinson. Yeah. So we yep. got to understand that is a Zach Robinson type move too. We Boy, need somebody that knows. Yep. Yeah, we we knows the system, knows the type of quarterback he needs. We're gonna get somebody who knows the system, played in it to help you out, sir. We're gonna it'll have. Take, gonna it'll take a lot off Zach Robinson plate because he ain't got to worry about training no quarterback. Indeed, right now, nah, right. it's it gonna be much easier. And right. to be honest, you can still, like I said before, and like Chris said, you can still go get that quarterback of the future and let him sit a couple mm. of years. No, you, doubt, like Chris man. said, it's only really two years, 90 million dollars after that. Um, no doubt. it's just avoid it to be honest. Uh, but, so but, I mean, but it's not crazy, thing, but man, go ahead, I, go ahead, Shaka. I get off of here, man. Uh, I, I just feel like we gotta go edge man in the draft man we got to if we don't pick up an edge in free agency i know I, I hear about the wide receivers and stuff man but to me a wide receiver man to me a wide receiver come a dime a dozen man you can go you can get yeah. a, a, a decent wide oh, receiver and yeah. because it's a deep class second or third round yeah, yeah. it's a deep class yeah. this year but when was the last time we drafted a fire breather dog coming off that edge man We've been talking about pass rush, pass rush, pass rush for I don't know right. how many years, man. You know what I'm saying? We have a double digit guy since 2016. So exactly, and, right. and we looked up and got that because Vic Beasley was going against all them backup tackles. He got them though. <laughs> no, I mean, he got them. No, no, I about say no, he got them. You know what I'm saying? Because if you would have put me out there, I still well, wouldn't have got them, Shaka. Huh? <laughs> I think if you would have put me out there, I would still would have got him. He got him. He, he got him. No, I'm just saying. He got him. They were just backups. You know what I mean? Facts. But, uh, but we got to address that, man, because I don't think that – I don't know. You guys do a lot more research into the college uh, uh, aspect than I do, but I, I'm only hearing two, two strong names as far as edge rush. Uh, Turner and Verse. Right, Verse and yeah. – uh, mm -hmm. The boy in Alabama, Turner. you know what I'm mean? so saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, they they got. I think they gotta pull that trigger. Since they don't pull the trigger on Kirk, they gotta pull that trigger on somebody. To go get the quarterback now, man, and then fill yeah, out the holes. That's true. That. Yeah, fill out the holes that's needed throughout the rest of the draft and whatever little money we have left over in free agency, bro. Facts, facts. But I uh, appreciate y'all coming through, man. I got two more people back there in the back. No doubt. Uh, thank y'all for always time. supporting your boy. Really appreciate it. And uh, y'all yeah. stay in the chat, man, because uh, the chat's still going off. <laughs> yeah, we in here, bro. Peace out, no man. Doubt. There you, sir. All right. Appreciate you. My boy, I see the my boy just made uh, a shocker. Move. How the hell I get out of here? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I get out of here. <laughs> Let's welcome in my boy. Let's get in GA. Sean, what's up, man? I know you ain't too happy today. He, he but, uh, did, he but before I before I, before I get your uh your action and your answer, let's get this question out the way. My boy Berto dropped it. He said, uh, do we trade one of the guys currently on the roster to help cushion the Kirk Cousin contract? And what he means by that is move one of the veterans that we have, like AJ Terrell or Grady Jerry, oh, Grady uh, who has those big contracts, uh, to probably soften the blow and then go through the draft and try to find replacements. That's a great question. Because uh, we crying about the contract, so what would y'all do? I'm gonna let the fellas go. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is at this point. You did say be respectful, Spitty, so I'm gonna do that. It is what it is at this point. Um, paying forty million dollars to a thirty-six year old man, guaranteed. Hey man, it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is at this point. I don't know where we go from here. Um, to answer Berto's question, you know, whether trade, you know, what about, you know, top guys that we had for years to soften the blow of the money? I mean, I would definitely explore that option because what else are we going to do? We have little to no money now. That, that's just the reality of it. Now, I've, I'm, I've, I've told you this, Smitty. Tip, I told you this last night. Right. Is Kirk Cousins the best fit for this squad? Absolutely. Absolutely he is. But we all know that he's not long-term. But we spent $40 million on a guy that hasn't, I'm going to say it, 
Kirk Cousins is the white version of Dak Prescott. That's just me. Puts up astronomical numbers during the regular season, but it, but doesn't do absolutely nothing come postseason or when the lights get uh, big and bright. That's just the, that's just the facts. It's it's reality. It's the truth. And we go out and spend forty million dollars for someone that hasn't done yeah. absolutely nothing. You got to understand with the quarterback though. The quarterback going rate is forty million dollars. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, Daniel Jones actually screwed everybody. Right, Daniel Jones got hurt last year, and that let everybody know that's the going rate. I mean, nothing less than forty million. And, and Baker Daniel Mayfield, Jones, even, though, even they, Baker Mayfield, even got damn near forty million. And he yeah. was a backup, you know, the last two three years. So Baker Mayfield I, has been a journeyman, you know. Let's yeah, just for be the last three years, yeah. And and he still yeah. got three years, one fifteen. So and we know Kirk Cousins is better than most of them names he just said. Daniel Jones, come on now. We know Kirk Cousins is better than that. And we know Kirk Cousins is better than Baker. And I believe that Kirk Cousins is going to come in and show that he's better than Baker. I know I had somebody text me a stat uh, about Kirk Cousins uh, in the NFC South talking about how he's his record is six and seven. And, you know, I understand that. But that's the past. And we're looking toward the future. And we're looking toward uh, Kirk I don't know Cousins if can hear me. And taking this down. Yeah, we hear DC. What's up? Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let, 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 let the other guys respond. I, 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 I'll see. DC wanted, he wanted to uh, chime in right quick. Uh, oh, go ahead, DC. What's up, y'all? Y'all can hear me good? Yeah, yes, sir. sir. Okay, yeah. I'm just hopping in to chime in. You know, this big news. You know, we all been going back and forth on it. Um, right. I'm with Chris, and I'm I'm with a lot of the fan base when I, I wasn't really crazy about it based on Kirk Cousins' age, uh, you know, based on the injury. But the other flip side, you know, you, there's pros and cons to everything. So I try to weigh them out. And then I'm thinking you look at the ethos is like a big thing with the Falcons of who they're going to bring in. You know what I'm saying? Not only is, right. is Cousins polished, mm -hmm. he's like a devout Christian. So is B. John Robinson. And I think that character really matters to them. And then with Raheem Morris, you know, they did a similar move. They had more pieces with the Rams, but mm -hmm. they went and got Stafford and went and got them a chip. And I'm thinking, you know, he's just trying to duplicate that. And I think we should bring in, be able to bring in a couple more big names in free agency, at least two. We yeah, definitely I should. think we can still get, we can still get some moves. Man. Yeah. yeah. But we definitely going to be looking games, toward the draft. Though, impact. Yeah, yeah we can definitely build through the draft as well. Uh, and with that number eight pick, like I told Sean and I told Chris, don't be surprised if they trade back because if they can't get one of those top guys, they're probably still going to see what the Aston Bryce is. But since receiver is deep in this draft and cornerback is deep in this draft, um, they could probably still trade back and go get Jerry Verse. He might still be there in the, probably around 13 to 15, somewhere in that range. Uh, right. So, I mean, it's just not all shot to shit because of this contract. Just trust right. me. They got a plan and, and plan in place, and they gon' they they punched the numbers long before Kirk Cousins got here. Trust me, because they wouldn't have yep. gave him the contract. They wouldn't have gave yep. him the contract if they hadn't punched the numbers. Uh, so they were punching uh, numbers RGS, while they were talking. RJTF Light says uh, there are sources that saying Charlie Warner uh, is probably going to be at Atlanta Falcon. He's a former mm -hmm. Georgia Bulldog. Oh, his uncle uh, was a former Georgia, Georgia Bulldog in uh, Arizona Cardinal uh, safety. Uh, but Travis, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, bro? How you feeling? Hey, I'm okay with the move. Um, just because we needed a veteran last year. When you look at the way this team was constructed last year, we needed a veteran because we got too many good young pieces that were going to waste last year with Desmond Ritter and Arthur Smith. You look at what they did with Matthew Stafford in LA. Mm -hmm. it, it it worked. I mean, he they brought him in. And he was totally different. You know, we got a good team. If if it if it, if it means trading Grady, and I love Grady, I'm I'm a big Grady fan. But if it means trading them, hey, it's a business. You got to be prepared for that. Look, you know, we we can't sit here and say, okay, he's from Atlanta. We need to keep him. That ain't got shit to do with wins. Nothing. I want to win. 
Wins never care what you call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your zip code don't mean shit to me if you ain't winning. So I'm I'm, I'm cool with the move. I'm cool with the move. Let let's get him out there. Let, he got he got he got a good young stud receiver in, in Drake. Got Algier and and Bijan. You got mm -hmm. Pitts. Mm -hmm. Shit, what what else you need? Just so a I'm couple good with it. <laughs> if, if we could trade Grady and then go draft my man that showed out at the combine from Florida State, his name Brandon. I can't remember his last name. Oh, yeah. But yeah. dude, Brandon. dude was like two ninety, ran a four four seven eight. Bring him. I glad to replace him. Replace Grady with him. But I mean, I'm, I'm cool with the move. So I appreciate y'all, man. No problem. Appreciate you, Travis. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Hey Smitty and, and Chris, is that who who we got over there? Oh, uh, that's my boy Sean. Sean, Sean. Oh, what, 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 Yo, what's Sean. going on, big dog? Just saying, like, what do y'all think about T Higgins requesting that trade? You think that's something we possibly do um, for number two? Uh, T Higgins, <laughs> nah. I don't, I don't think we. <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't think even even beforehand, I didn't think we was gonna be in on T. I know that's a good option. Um, and honestly, it's crazy how the Bengals did him, by the way. But I think T is gonna end up sliding somewhere else. At first, I was thinking maybe Jacksonville, but after they signed Gabe and still possibly maybe in on Calvin Ridley, that may not be going on now. But uh T is a good receiver. I don't think that we're gonna get him, but that's just my opinion. But I could be wrong. Well, I, I, I will say this. Big bro, I, I, I gotta come at you, man. You show sure is a positive you show sure is a positive manipulator, man. Cause uh just hearing you talk, um uh, <laughs> he <laughs> hearing you talk, man, and, and and hearing what Tip just had to say, man, I'm like low key, man. Damn, I hate to admit it too, man. Damn. Low key, man. I really don't have a problem with the move, man. Low key, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that, bro. I, I'm not. Yeah, but I'm but not. but but did I but did I break it down last week? I broke it down perfectly. Yeah. That's why and, I said you a positive and, manipulator, hey, man. That's why and, I said and, it. <laughs> go back to one time for the fan to check that interview out, man. Uh, I had to drop it. I had to drop that because, you know, I just think people are just looking at money and just not at fit. Fit is everything in right. the offense. And if a quarterback don't fit, guess what? Not gonna fly. But uh Wolf, what's up, man? Talk to me. Wolf. Oh, yo, what's oh, up? Geez. Yo, yo, 10K, man. Congratulations to you, man. I ain't talked to you when you had your show, but congratulations to you. That's the only that's the only that's the only thing I want to address. Forget about everything else, man. Congratulations on 10K. That's a great accomplishment, a great milestone to you. We should be doing the 10K show every day. Forget about what's happening in Atlanta. What it's about the tank K, baby. That's what the hell we should be talking about right now. You know? I, I need to I need an interview. How much would you charge me for an interview? That's what I want to know. Forget about what's happening in Atlanta right now. I got you. You know? I got you. All right, man. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted to say, man. I wanted to say, God bless you, man. Congratulations on the 10K. Hopefully you get another 10K. I know people wanna I know people want to talk about what's happening, but the problem is, people, let's process first. Let's mm -hmm. process what's going on. You know, the misconception is that the lion is the greatest killer in Africa, and it's not. It's, not. That's, it's misconceptions. Stop acting like the shark is the apex predator. It's always the killer whale. That's the apex predator. Stop. Process and make sure you know how to think first. Because the one thing that hasn't even been mentioned, Smitty, and I'm going to get off, is nobody has mentioned Super Bowl yet. And I'm going to go out on a limb right now, and I don't care who's on the team. We're winning the Super Bowl this year. Hey, there you hey, go. How about that? I like I, I said, how about that? We're the show. Exactly. We're like, hey, have that faith. You got yep. to believe it's going to happen to us now. The same thing that happened with Matthew right. Stafford. The same thing that happened with But Tom the Brady. story here, the story here is 
to have 10K subscribers, what a story. What a milestone yeah. that all content creators should be uh, appreciating. Somebody that's in our fan base that reached that milestone, that's the real story right here. That's the story that, that you should be telling Smitty over and over again because people don't understand the work that you have to put in as a content creator, coming up with ideas, coming up with shows, collaboration. You got to come up debating people. You got to do this. You got to do that. It's so hard to be a content creator. Trust me. So congratulations to you and everybody out there in Atlanta, Falkland. God bless all you guys out there. It's your boy, Wolf. Remember to get your life up. Remember to get your life up, not your likes up. Not your likes up. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Fact. You know, don't don't worry about a follow back. I'm worried about other stuff, but you know what it is already. It's your boy Wolf. Salute to everybody out there. Facts. No Facts. Appreciate you, my brother. Always like when Appreciate Wolf you, man. So boy Wolf A1 Day One doing his yes, thing. Sir. Uh but Sean, didn't we have that conversation uh yesterday? I think it was about the Super Bowl run. Didn't I say yeah. Super Bowl or bus? Super Bowl or yeah. bus, baby. T Tip and I, Tip and I, we talked we talked last night. Me and Tip talked about an hour and we, and we talked about the exact same thing. So Man, um now I will say this. Kirk Cousins, this just, just me personally, fellas. He doesn't move the needle for me. He doesn't move the needle for me. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. You know, because it's like um we in a we in the business now where it's like what what have you done for me lately? We've heard over the years you like that, well. We gonna see if we like that. Let's see what you do now that that that, that you here. We gonna see and if I, we like that. And I ain't gonna cap on y'all, man. I used to rag on Kirk Cousins all the time, man. I even I've I almost dropped a short one time about Robert Offer taking that thing back to the house in overtime against him when he was in Washington. I understand, man. I used to rag on him too. I used to want RG three to be more successful than Kirk Cousins because I thought they were trying to uh, do RG three wrong. Man, it, it's so much to go into Kirk Cousins, and now he's my quarterback who I fully support. That I just want yeah, everybody to know that. Know that. I fully uh, DC. support out of all the ragging. DC, what route do you think the Falcons going in the draft? In the draft? Yeah. What, what, what's your thought on the draft? I mean, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the draft. I'm thinking, you know, edge rusher is what a, a lot's been mocked out there. Um, what you said earlier, I mean, they could potentially move back now um, and get a verse. Um, I, I like an offensive tackle if an offensive tackle is there um, because, you know, we got two, you know, Jake Matthews getting old and, and McGarry, you know, he's all right. You know what I'm saying? So if there's a top yeah. offensive tackle, maybe, maybe take one there and then, you know, try to get, you know, a wide receiver maybe in the third, maybe second, but – I really like Jonah Ellis. I, I, if y'all see myself, I like Jonah Ellis, that edge. Mm -hmm. He's like a hybrid, and I, I think it would be cool to have the Ellis brothers out there putting in work. But um, I can see that. If if uh, a quarterback, you know, slides to the second, which it don't seem like it will, maybe get somebody to sit behind Kurt because Kurt is going to show a young quarterback the ropes. So that's another right. thing, another good thing about the the move. Um, I had a question real quick, Smitty, Chris, uh, Sean. If y'all if y'all heard anything about uh, safety, I think Johnson from the Rams. Oh, yeah. John Johnson the third. Yeah, John yeah. Jackson. Y'all think yeah. a good fit because you know how players move from one team to the the other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think it yeah, can he's work. He's I know. A, yeah, I, I think it could work. I, I think just because of the ties he has with Raheem and, and he knows him as a player. As a skilled player, I, I, I think it could work. Well, me and work. Smitty, we were just talking about this yesterday. I just brought up his name to Smitty yesterday. I believe he can fit. Um, he used to play in the scheme, and things didn't work out for him with the Browns. But, again, that's him going to a different team, different culture, scheme, whatever. And um, But bringing him back, and I still wouldn't mind Jordan Fuller, um, another guy who played for the Rams. You know, um, I, yeah. I still wouldn't mind Darius uh, Williams, a guy who won a Super Bowl with the Rams. So it's just it's it's a lot of different options that you can go out there for familiarity and scheme purposes, and you may have to take some of those routes now, especially with the Kirk Cousins contract, and again go to the draft. So those are just options. And, out and, there and I still haven't seen nobody in the chat say this, and it seems like they missing the point. One point that y'all got to think about in this whole situation: mm -hmm. Austin Blake is eighty-two years old. 
He ready to win. He don't know how much longer he gonna be around, so he's trying to yeah. win right now. This is yeah. why he put those weapons together the last three years. This is why um, they took one on the chin last year. Uh, and like Uncle Steve said, Arthur Smith was the setup guy. Who's this, yeah. who's not to say that Raheem Morris might be that coach to take us over the top? That would be wonderful. We already put the team together. That. All we need is was that leader. So, I mean, and he I, did have less talent with the Rams last year, as far as on defense too, compared to what we had. That's one right. thing that we have to make sure. And I said it, me and Smitty, we've talked about it. I'll say it out here: we cannot afford to take a step back, though, on defense. We have new coordinators, new uh, new visions, new mindsets. We do have but, some familiarity, but we still but we have Jerry Gray. Yeah, I'm about to say that's the, that's the familiarity. Yeah, that's the familiarity. Yeah. Everything that we do have, uh, um, and also you know on the offensive side, some familiarity as well. But on defense, we cannot afford to take one step back. We have to still be a top ten defense. Yeah, I don't right. want our offense to now take off, and then next thing you know, we can't stop nobody. Hey, one thing, so, uh, real quick, and then I got to jump off. All the kids just got home. Oh. Go ahead. So I'm glad you said that, Smitty, about the smoke screen, and I'm glad they didn't do Raheem like that. Now that I see how things went, because I mean, Art Smith was that fall guy, (laughs) and now he got that they cleared up the cap. You know what I'm saying? They they can get the quarterback or draft one, and now bring Raheem back in and let him actually work with something instead of him being the fall guy. And, And to your question about the draft, once we see. You know, a couple more free agent signings, you know, we'll have a better picture of, you know, if we get Daniel Hunter, we're probably not going to draft the edge. You know what I'm saying? So, right. But oh. I appreciate y'all. Salute to all y'all. Y'all know how we do. Hey, throw, yeah. shout out your channel right quick before you oh, leave, man. Oh, oh, ATL, GA, Faithful, you know, uh, Falcons, but I, I'm mixing everything Atlanta. And uh, I appreciate all y'all, man. Uh, have a blessed rest of your day. And I'll holler at y'all later. One, appreciate sure. it, Hey, hey, Smitty and Tip, I, I do want to say one. I do want to say one thing, man. With with today's sign, I will say this. Hey, super a uh, Super Bowl at the minimum. A super Bowl appearance better come out this deal, because that's that, 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 that's 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 what we're screaming right now. If it doesn't pan out to at least get to a Super Bowl, let alone win it, I'm telling you right now, the city of Atlanta is going to be in an uproar. I'm telling you this right now. I'm telling you this. With, with, with this kind of sign, you give $40 million to this guy, and he hasn't, let this be real, hasn't proven anything. He hasn't. That's just the facts. You pretty much telling everybody, okay, we think this is the guy that's going to get to that home. If it doesn't pan out, I'm telling you, it's it's going to be bad, y'all. It's going to be bad. It's going to be and, bad. And Daniel Hunter is still out there. Um, I'm not seeing anything about. Yeah, they said it was uh, fake news. It's a fake news. So Neil there. Hunter is still out there. For those Jeff Okuda goes games. to the Houston Texans. Oh, I can see that. Excuse me. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Will, what's up, man? What's Talk to on, me. Fellas? Man, listen, I, me, man, I don't support the team. I know Kirk Cousins ain't did nothing playoffs and stuff like that. Let's get it, G.A. But, man, but he gives us a chance. What's going on, big dog? He give us a chance to get his division because I didn't really want us to want, want us to get Baker Mayfield, you know, left stand Tampa and all that. But all we got to do, man, just add us his pass rush, um, add more depth on this offensive line because I don't I don't trust Drew Dahlman and uh, Caleb McGurry. We got to address that in the late rounds and get us another slot receiver and a and a, uh, and a uh, strong safety man. Go with Jesse Bates, man. I'm just I just think Reggie Grant need to stay, man. He he don't deserve to be on his roster too. To be honest with you, I'm just tired. I'm tired <laughs> not to. And we need to get a we need to address we need to sign Jeff Okuda. We don't sign him. We need to get a, a right corner outside of AJ Terrell if he stay. Well, yeah, Kudo, he said just went to the Texans. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah he's from Texas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. just went to the Texans. I, 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 we got Clark, Clark Phillips, and we he, we got him on the roster, and he's coming. He's hungry. I, I think we'll be fine. But Jeff Okuda being gone, I think we'll be. Just uh, in the corner, so yeah, he, he more like a slot guy, though, man. But before I head out of here, man, I don't know, I'm just saying this, man. We mm. division, and we can win the Super Bowl as long as, as long as we don't turn the ball over on offense and the defense get stops on teams like late in the second quarter, like late, like let, let's say like halftime adjustment. We make a halftime adjustment when I go on the third, fourth quarter, two minutes drill. 
we cannot let teams get in the end zone. We got to stop that. So Jesse Bates, he played his ass off, but everybody else got to step up, step up their game. AJ Terrell got to step up his game up. <laughs> Richie Grant, if he wants to stay on the roster, he got to step his game up. A lot of people on the defense got to step the game up, but include the great to stay healthy too. Mm, one year, one year, four point seven uh five million dollars with two point five million guaranteed for Jeff Okuda. That's a steal. That is because, woo. like I told y'all, man, y'all can trash Okuda all y'all want. First ten games of the year, he played like a first round pick. He, he played Okuda the rest that. of the season hurt, and I that's what I would have gave Jeff that. I would have gave him I four. Too. I would have I I gave him too, that. definitely. But uh, we got one more backstage, Doug. You there? What's going? What's up, Smitty? How you doing, man? What's up, G? Hey, I want to congratulate you with about, with your 10K. I don't, I don't think I ever got a chance to congratulate you. So congratulations for that, man. Big ups to you. You've been doing your damn thing for years. I just remember trying, bro. I just remember having like you know. I just remember having bad days and like you know I'm looking forward to Smitty. Like oh, I got Smitty to look forward to. So I guess my day ain't that bad. So I just want to I appreciate you, man. Big time. No so, doubt. But uh, let's get it. Kirko bangs. Let's get it. I'm with it. Let's get it, man. A lot of people have bad things to say about it because everybody wants this mobile, this mobile quarterback, this mobile young quarterback. And one day we'll get it. But for right now, we just need competent quarterback play. And I think that's what we got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The past couple of years, we haven't had it. And people realize Matt Ryan wasn't as bad as we made him out to be. So it's all right. Let's just keep it moving. And I'm familiar. I'm a thousand percent with you with the receiver. On, on, on the first pick for the eighth pick or moving up, I'm a thousand percent with you because I think that's what we need. We need a game changer. We need somebody like a Jamar Chase ass, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah, something like that. Something, something to take a slant 90 yards or slant 70, 80 yards. Because we, cause we got it. We already got big body receivers in Kyle Pitts and Trey Leonard. So I don't think we, we need to go Roma Doosday. Yeah, we need a guy in space. A yeah, guy that yeah. get away in space. Exactly. Yeah. Neighbors. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah Harris. Somebody with short, with short, short area quickness that can that can get the zero to one hundred like fast as hell. So that's what we need. And like everybody been saying, we need a we need a uh, pass rusher. I would love to go see if Kirko can get Danell Hunter down here with us for a cheap deal. Mm, maybe, hey. maybe so. Maybe we can get that through. Hey man, talk to him. We, we, he he's our quarterback now, so I need him to be talked there on the phone with Justin, and mm-hmm. I need him to be on the phone with Danielle. just to right. see. Who wants to do what? You know what I'm saying? I, I'll be happy with either player. Right. If I hear Justin Jefferson taking a pay cut or whatever to come down here to play with Kurt, and that be our nuts pretty much he's gonna be our number one, and Drake will be the number two then at that point. Mm-hmm. But and then bring in another uh another option. But don't be surprised if Van Jefferson is still on this team now. If he's yeah, I think back. he comes back. Definitely yeah, I think after, he does. Yeah, yeah at this point. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like I feel like Van Jefferson will be okay. Like people realize that. <laughs> The, the, we got Raheem Morris and Zach Robinson. They come from competent quarterback play when they had right. Matthew Stafford. So that, that's what that's what they're looking into. Everybody was with these smoky mirror with Justin Fields. I knew we weren't getting Justin Fields. I'm just like, why would they? Why would they go back? You know what I'm saying? That, that's kind of that's kind of going backwards from where they were. Like, why would we go back and get an unproven quarterback, or somebody who hasn't really won, and somebody who is still raw? I think he's still raw. I think he still needs more seasoning as a quarterback. Not a, not an athlete for everybody. I'm talking about as a quarterback. Going through going through progressions. That's what they that's what they want. They want a progression quarterback. A one, two, three, uh, get it out. One, uh, get it out. Uh, get it out. Yeah. Kirk, Kirk mm-hmm. does that. Like, drop all out very fast. Yeah. Yeah. Drop it out. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's what I'm with. And I yeah, I think we got to upgrade the offensive line. And right. I, yeah. just, like, I think that like, I think uh, that's definitely in play now at number mm-hmm. eight. You got. I'm thinking um, they're talking the offensive line hey, right now. And, and even if they move up, they could still go offensive line because you talk about Joe Alt, a guy that's six foot nine, three hundred twenty five pounds, uh, elite Game pass protector, elite run blocker. I mean, you upgraded the line true. totally with that move alone. And Smitty, I'm 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 gonna right. piggyback off of that. And not only do you you have Kirk Cousins up upright, Bijan Robinson and Tyler Algier is gonna love that pick too. Because guess who's opening yeah. up holes for them? Joel. Yeah. So people, yeah. people and, the, and, the, and the way, yeah. and and the way Bergeron played last year, you 
mark them two guys up the next five years, it's going to be hell on wheels on that left side. And, and you got Chris Listom on the right side. So, And not to mention Joe Art's dad used to play football too and his brother played ice hockey. He's a tough guy. Okay. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And one more yeah. thing, yeah. Smitty, I'm going to say. One more thing, Smitty, I'm going to say. With that okay. offensive line movement, that's just that's just copying the Detroit Lions. They did that exact same thing when they went and got um, Pinel Sano. So it's the yeah. same thing. Like, we just we have to have somebody elite on that offensive line along with the talent that we have. That might not be a sexy pick to everybody, but it's a it's a mm-hmm. it's a very it's a necessary pick. pick. It's necessary right. and strategical. Like it's setting up for years to come. So yeah, I agree with you a thousand percent, Smitty. You always think logical. That's what I like about you. You 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 about Got the you, brand. You not about. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, not, you're not about all the love of one player. You about let. You know what I'm saying? You about the brand. That's why I love you. Smitty. Gotta be. Thousand Gotta be about the brand, man. Hey, Big Bro, boy, today, what's up? I'm going to jump off, man, so other people can come in and, 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 and you know, uh, express how they feel about today's uh, sign and stuff like that. So, you know, I want to give the floor to everybody else to come in and, and express themselves. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. I'll talk to you in a little while. Yes, sir. All right. Till by All right, man. Y'all be easy. Yes, sir. All right. All right. That's my boy, Sean. Uh, let's get it, GA, man. Y'all can check him out on uh, YouTube at uh, Let's Get It, GA, man. He be doing his thing with the gaming, uh, Madden, 2K, WWE, anything you can name, he does it. Uh, so y'all go check him out on YouTube. Uh, Playboy, what's up, man? What's going on, Smitty? What's going on, A1? I what's see good? you, you ain't got yeah, that right? red light with you today. You said what? <laughs> <laughs> I see you ain't got that red light with you today. No, nah, I'm, I'm at work. Damn, they wrecked the truck when I got the news. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't need Can't to tell do no that. stuff, man. Cause trust me, no, they gonna take man. it out your check. Yeah, but I, uh, how, y- how y'all feel about it, man? I, w- w- what y'all think? I, oh, I, I mean, actually I'm love for it, it, man. I love I'm it. For it, man. Yeah. Yeah. For We've been it. talking about it for what three weeks to a month. You know, I and, yeah. I, and I saw it coming in last. What is it? Last week or week before last? Um, mm. Arthur Black came out on. You know, went out on a limb and just said, do what you got to do to go get Kirk Cousins. So it's yeah. not a surprise to me at all. And to be honest, like I said, if we had a Kirk Cousins last year, we probably making a deep playoff run. We had the defense play superb last year. But right. by the time the end of the season came, they were so worn out from trying to hold the team in the yeah. game and keep the games close. Um, it just wore them down in the end. So when you only scoring 18 points a game, and not putting up points, that's what's going to happen. You're going to lose football games. And think about it, the thing that we talked about, what the defense had to do last year, they did exactly that. They were top right. 10. They got off top the field 10. on third down. They got 40 sacks. So right. they had the recipe for a playoff team. They just did not have that guy to get these weapons to football. Now that we have that, it's time to go in the direction of a deep playoff run or Super Bowl. And to me, like, I said earlier, like a couple people say, it's Super Bowl or bust this year. It's got to be. Yep, it is. It's, it's Super Bowl or bust, at, uh, indeed. Because I mean, you you in win now moves. You making right. win now moves. This is definitely swinging for the fences and banking on you're going to get the production of Kirk Cousins before the injury, or right. even better now. So this is definitely a win now move, like Smith has said before about Arthur Blank. You know, so he wants a win now team in this. And right now, with all the pieces and hopefully some more coming, uh, we have a win now team that possibly can get to the playoffs and further. So that's what I'm banking on, man. I'm for the move. Uh, was it my first option? Of course, everybody who's been watching should already know I was team young guy, team Jaden Daniels. It didn't happen. Kirk Cousins is here. All I'm just saying is, hey, man, let's go. Let's go uh, make these playoffs. Let's go. Make a Super Bowl, man. Let's win a Super Bowl. Let's get something for us. Yeah, and it's I, and I, and I hear teams. playoffs a bus. But you got, you got, you got to think big, man. In today's yeah, game, you got to think big with all it's, these weapons, man. And you get a quarterback that can get them the football. That's not scared to go in and throw it to the end zone. And yeah, just man. think about this: you got a guy six four in Drake London and a tight end six six in mm-hmm. uh, Kyle Pitts. Y'all don't think that 
um Kurt Cut, a healthy cow back shoulders throw those back shoulder fades throw those jump balls those 50 50 balls oh he's not going to be scared to throw those so not at all and they're going to be accurate a whole different offense this year right Let, let's right. also so no, gonna, notice this Kirk Cousins, remember all those plays? Smitty, I know you remember them plays, and I know all the chat do too, where the ball just right there on the receiver, receiver getting no yak, receiver yeah. getting damn near hurt, Rece ball almost getting picked off, just ball placement, y'all. It's going to be more yeah. accurate throws. It's going to be better plays because he's getting the ball to the playmakers. Jump balls are going to look even better because the ball placement, he's going to put it to where our receivers can get it. Kyle Pitts coming into a healthy season. We may actually unlock Kyle Pitts now and really see our investment from a couple of years ago. So it's just, you got to think positive about this guy. I'm sorry. You got to think positive because look what we had. I'm sorry. I do not want last season again. I'm sorry. I don't. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, regardless of who the quarterback, I don't want what happened last season again. And if you don't want that, then you should be able to get on board with this because look what we had. We have the best quarterback in the NFC South, arguably, right now. And definitely we have another uh, franchise quarterback in the Falcons' history, at least you know so you can say to be on the team, for whatever that's worth to some people. So I'm just saying I, it's, it's things that you can get behind. I think we definitely – I think we definitely got the best quarterback in the NFC South. I, I, me personally, I still can't say swinging for Super Bowl. I, I feel like division first. It's been, it's oh, yeah. been so long first. since we just got a division. Like, let's just knock that down, and then we'll get no, to that right. that Super Bowl. But I, I, I mean, I gotta, I, I need to see the division first because we could have had it last year. To be honest, we, we, we could have right. had it two, two years in a row. Yeah, it so, was, it was right now. So right. I, we we got to get over that first step before and, uh, I, I can holler Super Bowl. And, and I know some people are like, "How many division titles have Kirk Cousins won?" I already understand that too. Well, I, I, just, I don't do that because it's not an individual sport. I'm just looking at the team right, situation. Right, right. right. And, and, and thank you because it's not an individual sport. Right, right. So right now, uh, I don't think Kyle Pitts will give up number eight. I think he'll damn sell it to him. Uh, because yeah. he just made $45 million. So he's going yeah. to give up about 10000 10, 10, for that number. Just, let's just keep that real. Um, I need a little more than that, Kurt. <laughs> do you see Penix in I the first round? Probably good. late first. After the medical was cleared, I think Michael Penix is not going uh, – he's not going to make it past the Raiders at 13. Just keep it funky with mm. you. Uh, Man, they said, stat, they said they found a tweet, him saying he wanted to be a new one and say, I pray to God. Michael that, that, yes, I pray to God that that is fake. That, that, that fits his skill set, though. Uh, yeah, I'm about to say, I can see them taking pennies. I really feel it. Yeah, y'all want to deal with that for the next 10 years? I, I mean, mean, the I mean, thing about it, it depends on who we get. It depends on who we get for me. Because yeah. Kirk Cousins, is, I mean, Kirk Cousins is, is the right now, but we still right. going to need a future. Now, I have a question for y'all. Uh, does this mean that Desmond Ritter stays around and learns behind Kirk Cousins on that cheap rookie deal? It's possible. It's, it's possible. possible. Yeah. I know. It's I know a lot of people possible. not gonna yeah, like yeah. that. But, it's quite possible. Uh, but I'm just saying, it's it's a still a cheap rookie contract. You bring it. You got him still behind Kirk Cousins. Uh, definitely somebody who he can learn behind a new offense. All this stuff like that. You end up cutting Heineke. And pot, you know, saving more money to do do more things with. So I'm just saying, it's options out there. I know people don't like to hear that Desmond Ritter name, but it's a real possibility now, man. Sparsy uh, with the funds. Think about bag. The what's up, man? Talk to me. What's up, man? Um, hey, man. <laughs> I what's know. Up, man? I want it. I want it. Feels with all my heart, man. I ain't gonna lie, but you know, bro. Yeah. This this actually is a it's a good move. We all still questionable about it. Now don't get it confused. Mm -hmm. But as far as being sure at a quarterback position, I'm not mad at it. So you know I'm a Falcon first, even though you know we all want who we wanted. Some people still want to go draft young quarterback, and I think that's smart. But right. as far as you know, like I say today, we got better at a quarterback position. So that I'm not mad at. Now it's like 
what's next. You know what I mean? So let's we got we got to build on top of this this Kirk Cousins acqu- acquisition. To be honest, facts. Johnny, yeah. talk to me. Oh uh, yeah, man. I feel the same way, man. I, I was gonna troll buddy right there with the whole Justin Fields thing, man. But I'm a, I'm gonna leave you be. I'm gonna leave you be, bro. Um, <laughs> I, I I went too high on Fields, man, just because he really didn't show me shit in three years, bro. Like, and and everybody was talking about trying to win now, bro. If you if you're trying to win now, bro, you gotta go with the season. Bro. You got to. But at the same time, I think they got a plan, bro. I really do. I really think they got a plan oh, yeah. when it comes to ball for a young oh, yeah. QB. You feel me? Even if they do go with Ritter, bro, if you see how they set up that court that 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 QB coach situation this offseason, bro, yeah, shit would right. be way different. You feel me? He's in a whole different environment because we kept complaining about Arthur Smith's coaching, bro. And I don't see how all of that shit gets overlooked so often because he was trash, horrible in so many different ways last year, bro. For the past three years, actually. So it's just like no, nah, I, I, I feel like I feel like they got a plan, man. Whether it's rolling with Ritter, whether it's drafting a quarterback this year, drafting a quarterback next year, I wouldn't be mad against you during next year if we could. Honestly, hey, could yeah. be an option. You never know. It's you feel me? Because they, they could like boy next year. You feel me? And, and and make some moves to go get him if if need be. Because let's let's be real. Uh, Kirk yeah. is gonna be hitting forty in this contract, bro. We're not banking on that man for no future. We're not banking on that man for no future. But at the same time, he's a good quarterback to learn from. So I, I feel like we're getting set up for now and the future. So I'm not, I'm not really yeah, too it, mad at it, it. It's right. all about experience at the end of the day. Um, and like I keep telling y'all, man, just think about it. Think about this if y'all still scratching y'all heads about Kirk Cousins uh, over, over Justin Fields. Um, do you trust – Justin Fields to go through progressions. Do you trust? No, no. <laughs> I'll to no. Come through we watched you. So when I'm talking about plays that you just gotta have it, you trust Justin Fields? I don't. No, know. no. Processing he it. has X factor athleticism, but that's it. Yeah. Well, exactly. let me let me let me let me say this though. It, y'all are y'all are right, but let's say we would have got Fields. You think? Mm-hmm. The reason we got all them quarterback coaches isn't for a young guy in the future. That's what I was well, saying. Too. Yeah, yeah, but it's time to let go of that potential shit, man. It's time to let that go. But, like, bro, it's, bro, it's, bro, it's, bro, it's, bro it's, is it's, about it's, to be it's, it's, all the way through, it's, 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 through his rookie contract. It's about to be time to pay him, bro. We can't still be talking about what he looks like, and it's it's time to give him money. Fuck that. That's crazy. We might as well roll with drafting the young quarterback, man. For all of that, yeah, we're I trying think, to win that, right that's now. Plan, plus, plus, we don't really plan. need what 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 he brings to the table. We need somebody like Kirk Cousins. We already have weapons. I'm pretty <laughs> sure we're going to add to it. We need to be able to get everybody the ball, man. That's the and, point. And that's the point. We heard complaints about not for. getting the ball all last year. We got to get the playmakers the ball. Well, that's one, one name I want y'all to watch out for in the draft is um, Spencer Rattler. A couple of years ago, we talking about this guy yeah. could be the number one pick. Sleeper. He fell Sleeper. off. Um, but at the same time, he came back at South Carolina and showed why. Uh, he still could be, you know, a second or third round pick. And he could be a guy we could be looking at on day two or day three. So, I mean, his yeah. quarterback sat there, the Tulane quarterback. He has a decent arm. He can make Shoot. the throws. Uh, so, if you, if you got quarterback coaches and guys that are going <clears> to <throat> work with the quarterbacks in place, it really don't matter who you put back there because if they're going to fit in the system, they're going to fit. Look at Brock Purdy in San Francisco. On any mm-hmm. other team, he probably a third-string quarterback. Let's just keep it 100. So it's all about fit. If they can, yeah. if Zach Robinson is that guy, he can bring in any quarterback he needs to, to run his offense if he's the right one. So that's, that's how you got to look at it. So Which is, It's still funny that Brock – Purdy actually was the third string quarterback, and yeah, now look at exactly. that. <laughs> exactly. I was just about to say that, but you know, it also it does make sense now that I, now that I'm just really just sitting back taking it all in because um, Zach Robinson is he's new to the offensive coordinator, you know what I'm saying, position. So versus going to get a young guy or bringing Fields in, this was the smartest, you know, the, the smartest choice. So I'm not like I said, I'm not mad at that. 
All I'm thinking about is the future. And will Kirk Cousins be healthy come September? That's my that's my biggest concern right now. Will he be ready? I'm sure they got a come plan, September. Bro. I'm yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure positive. he'll be ready. Um, and you got to think too. Um, he he got hurt when uh, last August, November, last November. So November yeah. to training camp is roughly eight months. Uh, it takes about ten to twelve months for a recovery. So they're going to probably have a quarterback in place for the first two to three games in case he can't go. So you could yeah. see them go out and get another veteran quarterback, such as a Jameis Winston or someone of that nature. So, um, I mean, they got a plan in place. They've got to have a plan uh, right. because they're probably going to cut Taylor Heineke and get money off of him. And yeah. Desmond Ritter is probably going to be a third stream because of his rookie contract. But trust me, yeah. they got a plan in place. Um, yeah. And like yeah. I said, when you got a great play caller, I mean, you can – let somebody feel that spot, no matter who it is, if they can call plays. So we'll see. You don't give Kirk Cousins pushing forty, almost two hundred million. You don't got no plan. Absolutely. No, but at the same time, I feel like Raheem Morris is trying to make a splash as a as a head coach in his first year, which is why you go with this sign because you 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 banking on a wing and a prayer if you went for Fields because you don't know how that shit's gonna go. Right now, you you hoping on Curtin Cousins being 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 healthy, but you know he can slank the motherfucker, bro. Like we yeah. saw what he was doing look at, last look year. Look at last year before he got hurt, he was a top two. And, and, and we got and look at the weapons we got, dude. We got fucking the monsters, bro. Like we got the fucking monsters, bro. <laughs> and we can add to like for real. Like think about man, look. I know it's been far removed, but look what KP was doing with Matt. Matt was dominating that boy. I'm talking that about Matt. Was was that boy. He looked great. He looked great. And had he not got hurt, he would have put up some more numbers. You feel me? Like, right. come on. Get us get us a QB who can slay that thing, bro. Justin, he would have been a good, feel good story, but niggas would have been pissed by week four. When we was two and two or some shit, <laughs> like nah, nah. Let's, 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 some of those losses fell on him. You feel me? So it's just like nah, man. Hey, true we, statement. We, 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 we gotta, we gotta get some. We gotta get some different rolling, man. I, and yes, it's a little crazy for us to bring in all the QB when we moved off Matt, but I think they realized they fucked up because they fucked up with that. They should have never went for Deshaun Watson. They should have never yeah. went for the show. I mean, that shit I, I, said, I, said, I said that last week. I said that yeah, last week. The time they got back door. The minute time the foul. And I heard that they tried to ask Matt to come back, and he told him no. And I don't blame him. I would have told him no. One, because who the fuck would pick Arthur Smith as their play caller by choice? Bro, I ain't going to lie to you. The Besides whole thing people. I was saying that back then, and I wasn't even in the podcast yet, but I was saying back then, I said, Well, if they don't land Deshaun Watson, they gonna miss you. Gonna have that's like having fuck that's everything, like having bro. your main that's like having your main chick, and you go try to get something younger, <laughs> and then the young chick leave you and your main chick leave. Now you ain't got nobody. That was the I, I don't know whether man. that was Arthur Smith and Terry feeling themselves. Or what? But that was a horrible move, bro. Like, it was a horrible move. <laughs> it it helped nothing. Yeah, that, but that, <laughs> that was that was that was inexperience. That's all that was. Yeah. Um. Man. He he bet too much on himself and he lost because when you don't have a quarterback competition, that makes people think that you got everything under control. You got everything yep. in place, but that just wasn't the case. Uh, because if you had everything, your ducks in a row. We win way more than seven games last year, so right. he just he just overbid on himself and he lost. Oh, he definitely wants to do that you. over. <laughs> he oh, definitely yeah. wishes he could do it over now. I promise yeah. you. Got to. Hey, but Got I will to. say this. I will say this. I'm I'm thankful for the talent Arthur Smith brought in here before he left offensively. Most most man, definitely. that's Terry, man. I'm. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's Terry. Terry. Yeah, yeah, that's all Terry. Yeah, about see that's Terry. 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 Yeah. But, that's yeah, the that's one person. That's the one person in all of this I've given grace, bro. Because sure. outside, like our record has been our record, but that man done put us with a decent roster. Yeah, like mm -hmm. defense best I ever seen since I've been a Falcons fan. Like I got a question was, for y'all before I get out of here because it's the last question because I got to roll. Um, yeah. would y'all bring in Michael Thomas? And you got to remember, Terry Fontenot drafted him in New Orleans. Would y'all would y'all bring in Michael Thomas, veteran? 
if he clears, uh, for the yes. slot for a right price slot for the slot and for the right price i don't i still would go get another receiver though just because oh, yeah, it increased his durability, fingers, his durability that boy has twitter fingers man locker room cancer <laughs> yeah, I don't, hey, and, and I don't and I don't man. disagree with that point too. I don't disagree with that I point as well. I'm just thinking about I feel like that's the only reason he on the outs in New Orleans because he can't shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 like, like a person that just talks too much, though. I mean, I mean he talk honest. a lot of shit. He's yeah, just like his yeah, fucking yeah. uncle, Keyshawn Johnson, talking <laughs> shit all the time. That's right. That's what he got it All the time, Uncle Steve. Like, Steve, can't help you, how you doing there, Earl? Steve, I'm popping in on his rat quick. Uh, talk to us, man. What you got going on? What you, what's your, what's your, what's your feeling on this move? What's that brother with the, uh, the brother over in the, uh, the glasses on in the, the corner? <laughs> what's your name? Yeah, Jonathan, man. What's up? Jonathan, okay, Jonathan. <laughs> the, I'll, everything he said, the PG version. I am absolutely, <laughs> I'm absolutely, one hundred percent down with the way he said. Again, me and you are. <laughs> we keep acting like everybody keeps pretending like we're gonna wait to see. Gonna get the the whole Justin Fields thing was built on what we think he's going to be, potential. Mm -hmm. The whole Desmond Ritter last year was built on what we think is going to be we think. With, with, with potential. With Kirk Cousins, albeit a lot of money, at least you know what you're going to get. At least you Just know the on his health. That's type it. quality yep. talent that you're going to have. <clears throat> Am I a little bit back with the money? Eh. I get it, but at the same time, all of us keep talking about the weapons, as Jonathan was talking about, the young guys in the in the back. And folks, we're not finished building yet. We're right. not finished. They're no one no look. No one look. They're they about to cook. They, they, they about to cook big time. So from that standpoint, I understand the emotion. I understand the Justin Fields uh, fan club. I get it. I was one of them. I get it. But in the interim. Smitty, I heard you yesterday, uh, uh, the other day, I think one of your shorts when you were saying I'm 100% in on the Kirk Cousins move because what you're saying is right now, this is the best move for us to win while we have right the, the quality of team we have. Folks, y'all forget about 2022. Y'all forget we had Mike, uh, look at those thighs, Davis running the, run, running the rock. When we had Marcus Mariota throwing from his butt. When yep. we had, uh, 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 what is that? Was that a Lamade? Who, who was the wide receiver on that team? Man, the Lamade we had yeah. with Matt at the end were so bad. No, so it was so bad. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. And I, and I hate to keep it was so bad. What, what Jonathan was saying, let's stop playing this game of mm -hmm. let's wait for people to develop. Let's wait for people to do this when you know you have the yeah. opportunity to get your quarterback right well, now true. so that's that's where i am with that brother so what, everybody what talking about that? money think about the money you're gonna have to spend down the line playing the waiting game yeah like that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. To, we got a we got a crazy stable of players bro now unless something crazy happens we're not going to be able to keep all of them at the same time at one point we're going to make right. it have to make a decision mm -hmm. on yeah, somebody so, so you so, so we you gotta, gotta, you gotta utilize them Right, you gotta, you gotta utilize. Right. And we already have used half of most of their contracts outside of Bijan. Right. So it's like and you, we and you gotta get the most window. out of Bijan. You gotta right. get the exactly. most out of Bijan. We in a two or three year back window back. right now. So yeah. that Kirk Cousins contract is really perfect, bro. We in a two or three year window, and as long as you line your ducks up right with with these young quarterbacks coming out, we can have a plan. They didn't have a plan behind that. We didn't have a plan, and we changed regimes like in the middle of having him. It was it was uh, it was crazy. <laughs> it was uh, crazy. What, 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 but we have a chance to fix it. Yeah, where would you go, Uncle Steve, in the draft? Quite, quite honestly, fellas, and I and I hear all the Dallas Turner stuff and everything like that. But now that you got Kirk Cousins, you go out and get uh, a Doomsday. Uh, is, am I pronouncing yep. that right? Uh, yeah, a Doomsday. Mm -hmm. One of those yep. two guys. You got to get somebody that can stretch the field. 
Drake is a is Drake can stretch it too, but Drake is my possession guy to me. Right, I think yeah. Drake would be that's that why we don't need Michael Thomas. Man. Stretch the field. Uh, I would love to be able to get uh, a lap McConkey tight in the third or fourth round. Man, that is, so you can so you can get that type of player. But you got to look out for Kirk Cousins. You paid all this money to get him here. You better mm -hmm. put the best. You, you know how sometimes you can, this, we paid for a wedding. So for, there you for, go. You better, <laughs> there you go. You better get the napkins. You better get the forks. You better get the, the chandelier, the roses. And there, ain't none of y'all been married. Y'all ain't amen in this. But you somebody get the tongue. No, no, no. Young and single. I mean, young it's and single. Wonderful. You're young and wonderful. single, my boy. Y'all, all y'all like, oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. That's all you want. Huh? That's all you want. Huh? Not, not, uh, yet, huh? not yet. Not yet. That's uh, all you want. Huh? That's, that's hey, how that's how you want. Hey, I'm, I'm married, so I know where you're going with that. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wide receiver brother that's why i'm going that's why i'm going right pay for but, get, a, uh, get a defensive lineman get a defensive lineman i know it's gonna be expensive what was the guy from houston that just got broke off to, uh, uh, green, Mike green yard man and, yeah you know, i wanted him i ain't gonna lie he's a beast but boy that's an 18 million. million dollar beast a year so yeah yeah it, 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 it's gonna cost but i think that's the last splash atlanta's gonna make i think they're gonna try to get an edge if they can, that's the only big splash I see. Everybody else, I could see us going to get free agents maybe a week or so when everything calms down. Right, 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 man. Go get Hunter, man. Go tell if, Kurt if to get on the phone with Daniel right, right now. Hunter's, Hunter's I thought he saw it with uh, San Fran. It was fake news. Fake oh, news. Word? Okay, man, 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 man. Yep, fake news. That, would be, that would be lovely. I wanted, I wanted Daniel last year. Think about the price, y'all. Chris Jones just signed for five and ninety-five. So you're See talking it. about upwards of twenty million to twenty-five million dollars that you're gonna pay for Hunter. So, well, and, I, so and if, since you put it like it, that, I, I'm still going to look at Khalil Mack because you probably can get him for a lower price. Right. Oh, you gotta, years old. That would be a trade. That would be a trade. What yeah. is Kirk's number? Yeah. What's Kirk's number? I'm not Kirk. Uh, Khalil's number. Right. Uh, now. Oh. Uh, Shoot, they, they still would have to. It's, it's 23 and a, it's 23 2, and they yeah. still would have to pay 15 of that. Okay, then if you do that, oh, I'll do that in a heartbeat. Then, how many years right. he got left? Uh, two, oh, uh, no, this is last year. This yeah. is okay. last year. Okay, so maybe, maybe a one off and 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 see, um, what you got. Yeah, I'm looking at spot track, and they got to get rid of them too. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Right. They have to get rid of them to make any kind of moves. So if, if, you possibly can get him for a nice little deal if it is a one off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it, if it's a one off, then that's what then that's all that it costs. You know, so even at his age, I would take him before Bosa. Bosa getting broke a little bit too much Man. for me. He, yeah, he, he been he ain't played with ten games the last two years. Right. So yeah, he right. might done. The best ability, the leader, availability. He could he could be the Calais Campbell three years younger. For this team, right? He could be. Right. That's that's what I'm thinking too. Um, I'm, I'm right there with you on that. If you bring in a Khalil Mack, um, honestly, you don't need a Calais Campbell. I feel like yeah. at that point, you can let one of those young guys get their shine, see what you got there, because you do. We do have young guys who we need to see. Arnold Abercady, uh, what uh, Zach Harrison? Where the hell is Malone? So it's right. just you know we got you know it's just it's guys that we have y'all that we need to see what's going on. So oh, shit. also, how about would y'all resign Bud Dupree? I resign uh, if I get or if I get, yeah yeah there you go yeah he got five last year so I got to go down go down three or four yeah, yeah. then yeah I mean yeah in that range but yeah he was I solid he was solid for the investments maybe yeah oh yeah oh yeah 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 six and a half. Yeah. He yeah. yeah, a lot lot of young boys on that line, man. I saw old man trying to get back there all last year. I need some young boys. Mm -hmm. Facts. I mean, I, but, that's uh, why I, said I definitely would line, take. Man. I definitely would take. You know, if we could get Mac, I'll take that. Move on from Calais because Mac is a little younger. Mac, yeah. you know, what I'm saying he uh, has a little bit more in the tank, I believe, than Calais. If we're talking about those two players, that's still right. some veteran leadership, and that's a dog that we have been wanting. Since pretty much, like I said, he's been drafted. We've been looking for a player like him. We've all wanted him, and we could possibly go get him now. So, I mean, bring him in. 
help tutor some of those young guys like the Harrisons, the Honor K the Abercadies, and everything. So we can see what we got. Let's pull some of this potential out of these guys to see if we do have some burners or if we need to get uh, let them get burnt, you know. So and let me let me go to my brother Jonathan's point a few a few minutes ago when he was making about waiting for guys to develop. Look at the luck we had bringing the veterans in, the Armanyadas, the Calais yep. Campbell, the Caden Ellis's, the Jesse Bates, the Bud Dupree's, and look at right. the difference experience and ready to play came in last year as opposed to rookies that we would draft, and we got to mm -hmm. wait, and we got to wait for them to. It's easier to me, for me, as for, to draft skill players on the offense as opposed right. to driving to getting folks on the defense. You do your defense free agency, mm -hmm. you go your offensive skill players. Um, Unless they're tradi right. like, 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 uh, generational. They got to be generational type of guys. This is true. This, on this defense. is true. If, it, if it's, uh, um, well, we got food with Jadavion Clowney. Uh, and, and honestly, who, 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 who missed out? Was it, wasn't it Jalen Carter we missed out on? Yeah, we, yeah, 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 last year. Yeah, you gotta wait to see what he because, because again, uh, we gotta wait, unfortunately. Yeah, we gotta I, there, wait. There are yeah. far fewer defensive players ready to play in the NFL this year. Will Anderson's don't come along all the time. Um, yeah. Aiden Hutchinson, come, come right. across yeah. where, you, where they jump off, yeah, DJ Watt, yep. give you immediate uh, dividends. When you start looking at the offensive players, how many times we see offensive wide receivers, offensive running backs, they come right out the, the back running. Yeah, right, right out the gate. Going. That's true. So you make the That's investment in the free agents in, in the defensive side. Yeah, back. transition for offensive players always easier. Always. Yeah. They be doing but, it, uh, Been a great show, man. Uh, we've been on an hour 41 minutes. And, man, I appreciate y'all coming through. Like I told y'all, as soon as the news broke that I had y'all, I enjoy y'all coming right. through, giving y'all thoughts, man. I had a blast, as always. But uh, Uncle Steve, I know you got the mother minutiae today, man. What time you coming on? I did have a little breaking show of, uh, about an hour ago uh, or so. I think I came on right before you submitted. But I am going to be on tonight at 7 o'clock once the dust right. settles, get the, get the lay of the land and see how everyone's feeling about the move. Y'all check me out. I'm on. Uh, I come YouTube. through. Yeah, oh yeah, you got you, brother. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that link in there in the next 30 minutes. I'm uh um I'll be on there. We'll talk about how's the fan base feeling about this, folks. How y'all right. how are y'all really feeling about this? So y'all join me in on the lounge. I'll be on at seven o'clock for the Monday Venusia tonight. No yes, doubt. Sir. Hey, tell them where to find you, man, before we get out of here. Hey man, you already know A1 Forever Sports, the platform on YouTube. We be generational because it's always time to be and we don't settle for less because you can always have more with the vision. Catch your boy on TikTok, Instagram, and um, what they call that thing? Uh, oh, yeah, Twitter, Twix, whatever. Uh, A1 Forever. <laughs> yeah, man, whatever it is, man. But A1 Forever <laughs> on those platforms as well, I man. Come on, man. <laughs> right. Uh, nah, I ain't got that. I ain't got that yet, man. I don't, I don't think people think I'm that damn sick. Chris on the main anyway. stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, no chipping deals. No, that, like that. Nah, nah, none of that. I'm sorry. Not this guy. But uh, but yeah, man, you got to get your boy Chris Tipmore on any of those platforms, man. Come holler at me. Don't mind chatting it up with anybody. Um, We definitely going to do more shows so people can get it on out of them you know what I'm saying and also once the dust settles like uncle steve said probably like we're gonna do more shows as well too man we're all gonna do some collaborations we're gonna see what these falcons are gonna do y'all so just hang tight it's definitely gonna be some more moves made so just hang tight y'all kirk cousins quarterback for the atlanta falcons yes sir yeah there it is uh johnny bash thank y'all for coming through as always man appreciate y'all sure. yes sir uh, yes sir but for the chat man holly y'all Thank y'all for leaving those comments. Thank y'all for giving us the updates. And uh, we'll holler at y'all later, man.